It was unveiled in front of the world's leading scientists and media, a new link in our evolutionary chain. This is Homo naledi, one of our earliest relatives, a new species of primitive hominid, part ape, part human. It walks on two legs like you and I do. It has long legs like you and I do. In fact, the feet are like you and, I, you and mine. But if it were standing next to us right now, you would not think it was a human. It would be about five foot tall. It would have a tiny head the size of my fist. The brain would be the size of my fist. The dentition would be small but very primitive in its shape. It would have high shoulders like an ape. The fossils were found in a cave at the Cradle of Humankind, UNESCO World Heritage Site in South Africa two years ago. Never before have so many early hominid fossils been found in one place. There are 15 partial skeletons. But what's almost more significant is what it tells you about Homo naledi's behaviour. Scientists say the remains were put there deliberately, suggesting a burial ritual. That's something until now scientists thought only we, Homo sapiens, did. We don't see any evidence of symbolic behaviour that, that they're doing. But yet that emotional basis, that social basis, some recognition that a dead member of their own group, their own species is special in some way, that seems to be what we're seeing here. It's in some ways maybe one of the first steps toward humanity. Homo naledi is revolutionary in other ways too. Common thinking was that the early hominid's brain grew bigger before or at the same time as its body became more like ours. But in Homo naledi, it's the other way around. Scientists don't know how old these fossils are, but as a species, Homo naledi could have emerged around 2.8 million years ago and it could have walked the earth as recently as 100,000 years ago. South Africa's deputy president was clearly as delighted as the scientists. Homo naledi confirms South Africa as one of the world's richest sources of answers to one of our greatest mysteries. Where and from whom did we come? Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Cradle of Humankind, South Africa.